Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning and I, I, I don't know about you, but don't you just love it? Like when it's when it's like summertime and it's like not actually really, really boiling hot and you can actually come out, have a cup of tea before you go into work and, and I guess just enjoy the peace and quiet and the breeze and just hearing the birds. Like I honestly, I, I, I honestly love that. And I'd, honestly, I'd die for to just be able to retire in somewhere where it'd be just peace and quiet, but <laughs> yeah. But in today's news, there is two new, uh, two uh, outgoings, which is pretty much on the card. And according to Fabrizio Romano and according to Sky Sports, and we all know the situation with Willy Nonto, the, the amount of stuff that's going around social media at the moment, the, the amount of stuff and transfer speculation. And I think when I've calmed down a little bit, because uh, I know I made a couple of videos uh, regarding the whole situation of Willy Nonto and just being very reactionary and, and and why not because of course he's a Leeds United player he's been in a sense he's been quite disrespectful towards the club and just the way that he, his mannerisms are and after looking at it I'm not too fussed why because if we can get 20 million pounds for Willy Nonto and as well 20 million pounds for Tyler Adams we're gonna have 40 to 50 million pounds depending on the price of um, like the add-ons and stuff like that so between 40 and 50 million pounds uh, coming towards Leeds United and, and to be honest with you I think it's quite good that in a way that yes Willie Nonto and Tyler Adams are, are brilliant players don't get more so Tyler Adams but the amount of players that we could bring in you know I mean Nick Hammond's here until like September so hopefully if we can get this deal over the line in the next week or so then we've got like two and a half weeks, three weeks left of the transfer window. So th th it's not all bad because Phil Hay come out the other day actually and said that Leeds United is still interested in Hamer, still interested in Perot. So if that's the case, we can go out there and buy a very, very um, a great striker. Um, if we do manage to get Perot, 100%. We can't, we can't not be going up. Like he, he's dominant in the cup, he's dominant in the league. It's just there's just no stopping him, isn't there? So if Leeds United can go out there and just pay the asking price of 15 million pounds, then I think Leeds United are going to be completely fine. Um, in the other hand, Hamer, I don't know how much Coventry City are um, wanting, but they said that it's it's a big fee. Like it's going to probably cost Leeds United around about 15 to 20 million pounds to to secure uh, Hamer. So we have to wait and see. I mean, it's quite positive as well because with the business structure of Nick Hammond and the 49ers, they want to do everything on the cheap, you know. So if we can like negotiate three to four more players to to come in then that's fine, so be it. If we can keep hold of Somerville as well, Perveda, he deserves a chance because against Shrewsbury, against Cardiff, even in the uh, pre-season, he looked like he had a message to send to all these Leeds fans. And to me, I've, I've kind of always rated um, Perveda in that sense. Uh, yes, he, I don't really think he was Premier League standard, but at the time when he was in the Championship under Bielsa, I thought he did okay. Uh, Blackpool, he did okay. And I feel like he's going to do really, uh, really well at uh, at this level as well with Daniel Farker. So we're going to have to wait and see because maybe we might not even need to replace William Nonto at this present stage. Get a new centre back in, a new right back in, and maybe a left back to be able to help uh, bring in that depth to, to with Sam Byram and bring in a couple of uh, midfielders too. So I don't really think there's anything to worry about. Uh, I mean, the, there was obviously Joe Rodon supposed to be deal uh, completed, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see until uh, the medical's all done and dusted with that one. And I'm really, really excited to see how well he fits into into the squad because when I, watched, when I was watching him at Swansea, very good, very, very good and very impressed with that. So really looking forward to, to seeing him in a Leeds United shirt. So I, I, I know there's a lot of Leeds fans out there who are angry and I get that because I am angry too. But let's look on the brighter side and let's actually look at this. Okay, well, Tyler Adams and Nonto can go 40, 50 million pounds banked to, uh, into, into the transfer budget. And then we go and be aggressive and bring in some top quality championship players to get us into the Premier League next year. So yeah. Yeah, Fabrizio Romano has now come out and said that uh, Leeds United are, uh, or Chelsea have agreed the £20 million release clause in Tyler Adams and Everton or Nonto wants the move to, to Everton. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a single video and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.